welcome back to the Oregon Law Lab. I'm Liz Tippett, a professor at the University of Law Oregon Law School. And I'm Jessica Brown, a thriller here at the University of Oregon School of Law. Today we continue our interview with Professor Juliet Walker about her biography of Free Frank, uh, the first African American founder of a town. So we're going to turn to now Free Frank, and I was wondering if you could just give us a little background about the great Free Frank and about how you know him. My mother is his great granddaughter. Great granddaughter. And I'm Free Bright's great great granddaughter. So wow. Free Bright was born in seventeen seventy seven. And what's significant or interesting or horrific is that uh it came down in the family's oral history that when she was about to deliver her baby. The slave owners sent her up in the hills to get the cow. And as she came back the next morning with the baby and the cow. Wow. By 1795, three months old moved. And of course, as you describe in the book, Free Frank spent many years clearing land and establishing a homestead for the slave owner, which took about a decade. Uh, in 1798, Free Frank met his wife, his future. So they got married. Well, they did. Well, they joined together. So mm. But. What's interesting, it was 20 years before they lived together. Because Lucy's slaveholder lived in another county, so they were forced to live apart so long as both of them uh, remained enslaved. Well, the question is, uh, how how could he do that? Because the first thing you would think of is that when you break what? Try to do what? Try right. to do Okay. So, but the owner knew he was going to do another way. Why? Because of his family. So Free Frank ultimately settled on two types of ventures. Um, one of them was mining, and the other one was real estate. Um, can you tell us a little bit about his mining operation? The last big county that is where Free Frank lived was located in an area where a very important natural resource, and that was the crude niger, the limestone cave. Niter, of course, is used to make gunpowder. So the wealth generated by gunpowder is the DuPont thing. Right, that's right. Right, that's right. Which was around the same time. Free Frank started this business in 1812. Five years later, he was in the church. So in 1830, they packed up and left and went to Illinois. But before that, I understand he sold his property and made an immense profit on the Kentucky property. Okay, he's been historically significant, mm -hmm. uh, but this is something new. Being a town founder, a black man, and, and that would seem to distinguish Free Frank's life as well as the lives of other black entrepreneurs is that they looked and saw what white people were doing. They looked and saw what was what they money in wherever they lived, mm -hmm. and then they pursued it. Mm -hmm. He finally bought his firstborn a daughter. Mm -hmm. And they she was fifty years old. Mm -hmm. It took them um, that long to amass yeah. the money. Yeah, you know, which meant she had to say, let the younger people Oh, 
So we Frank was doing pretty well. This child was located only 16 miles east of the Mississippi River. And so the family got involved in the Underground Railroad. And so the uh, family put them in Free Frank's basement okay. because there were the slave catchers always coming into mm. town. From 1777, when Free Frank was born to today, how, what do you think his story means for America today and right now at this time? Okay, that is a great question. Uh, because that is, you know, uh, what do we learn from the past in terms of moving on? Uh, I think persistence, hmm. persistence and fortitude, that you have to believe very strongly. If you want something, then you have to kill more than a percent in your efforts uh, to achieve that particular goal. And, you, and see, that's one thing. Free Frank never learned to read or write, but you should learn how to count. Yeah. You know. This concludes part two of our discussion with Professor Walker. To check out part three of our interview with Professor Walker, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Mm -hmm.